Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Football Manager 2011. And as you can see, we are now into February. Oh, hooray. <laughs> Very unconvincing hooray there from yourself, but never mind. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're now going to be going back to the uh, regular way of doing things. That's going from match to match. I'm not going to uh, do as what we did in January, which is basically just show all the transfers that's going on because, well, there are no transfers. Um, and that was, that was the main reason for doing that, but... Anyway, I digress. As you can see, we are playing Manchester City. This, for me, um, playing them at the City of Manchester Stadium, in case you don't know, we're also playing them in the FA Cup at Eastlands, which is going to be very tricky. But um, this one for now, I don't know whether they're going to be playing a weaker team then or not, but as you can see, it's a very strong team. It is basically what happens... What has happened at Manchester City is basically what happens when um, you go through the editor mode in Football Manager and you switch on... Uh, cheats, you know, give your, t give your team £300 million pounds of transfer kitty, um, and you know, and th this is what happens, you know, th that is, it's, it's amazing, it really is amazing, I mean, uh, this this team, although this, what I've got here isn't too bad, I've taken a few risks, uh, Ginger Shelby's come in, I decided to put him in front of, of uh, Charlie Adam, because we're going a bit more defensive, we're actually playing a counter, a fluid counter-attacking team this time, Kalu gets his first start, of course, more importantly as well, uh, as well, Carragher, although he is slightly tired, his condition was like 86. Um, I've decided to keep him. And Wilson also plays in centre with Lucas coming in. So, uh, let's have a look then. Uh, I think what we need to do, apparently everyone was really raging about uh, James Milner. So, I think we need to just get him out the game. Just totally just take him out. You know, like the uh, the legends as, as, as it is. But to be honest, you might as well do the whole team. Well, <laughs> apart from Richards and Lescott, really, the two, arguably the two worst players, and that's saying something. If Richards and Lescott are the worst players in your um, in your team, now, that's interesting. He's saying it for the fans. I'll say that for a change. Go on then. The, I think the assistant, no matter who the assistant is, will always say for the fans. Don't know if that's something. I think he used to do that on other games as well, and it'd still say for the fans. Anyway, let's see how we got on here. This is probably the closest we are going to come, in my opinion, for a while anyway, until we play another very lo uh, big team away from home, uh, that we may very well lose our undefeated streak. Well, like, I think we're 21 or 2 games undefeated. So if we get a draw here, I'll be very, very happy, uh, because, as you can imagine, this is an exceptionally difficult place to come nowadays with, um, with their team being as... as oh! Oh, oh! Oh, Fernando Torres, I thought that had just crept in, you know, and you can just, although you can't see the net bulge as such, you see the net move kind of thing, and I thought he'd put that one away. Goodness me. Oh. Um, right. Now, uh, I suppose I should, uh, actually, no, I'll tell you what, I'll talk about that in a, in a fitting video. I don't think this is the most fitting video to talk about. I was going to talk about um, how, you know, going Liverpool um, in a football manager game maybe is not necessarily cheating as such, but it's like, no, not much of a challenge. Well, there is a challenge to it, but um, I'll just very briefly talk about this because this has been talked about in the latest video that's gone up, which was the uh, Blackburn game, I think it was. Oh, we're playing Blackburn there as well. <laughs> uh, that's the reserves, I think. Um, yeah, it came up saying, well, yeah, you've gone Liverpool. It's not much of a challenge, is it really? Well, yeah, it presents a different type of challenge for what you might think as maybe a football manager challenge. Um, and that's getting Liverpool to, to the Premier League to win it, of course. Um, as well as um, I mean, you got to remember is that Liverpool are in a fairly tri tricky position, you know, financially as well uh, at the start of the season. But anyway, I digress. As I say, we'll talk about that in a more suited video. I think uh, we're playing Sund Sunderland next. I think that might be uh, more suitable to discuss it there. But as you can see, City are playing some good football at the moment. But we are going to soak this pressure up. At least I hope we are. We're, we're, we're stopping them from. Uh, pushing in so that's not too bad um, and as you can see they've had five t uh, chances we've had the one uh, but at least we have the ball here but Micah Richards just bellows Torres which is a bit unusual now Dirk Kout a bit un unnerving with him in the team when you play City but Torres is in and he scored well I said I said um, well I tell you left it over there but I said if we get a draw here it'd be made up well Torres has done it again well it's a great piece of play there. It was Kaut to Gerard to Torres and Micah Richards there. How do you say his name? Is it Mika or Micah? Mika's the uh, that singer, isn't he? 
Yeah, well, as he's, he's gone away, hasn't he? What happened to him? Anyway. <laughs> um, well, we're 1-0 up uh, with Fernando Torres. I mean, we, we drew 1-1 at Anfield earlier in the season, but a grip ball from Torres. Defence were just static, and Fernando Torres slots it away. Well, then, we've had two chances, but we have the goal. Well, certainly, I won't be changing anything. Now, this is what, what you've got to do. You've got to be... Now, Carragher, as I say, his condition, so he may be giving away a few sloppy fouls. But <laughs> Carragher and De Jong, I think he's uh, going a bit reckless now, the, uh, the players, so get them inside. Because this is a Manchester-Liverpool uh, game, you know, it's, you've got to... Uh, God, I think it's very, very tough tough battling game. Anyway, as you can see, Kalou's not done too badly, I suppose. He's been a bit... Uh, been a bit uh, anonymous so far, but... Um, Okay, we're just, I'm just having a look. Um, yeah, I think actually I might do that, actually. Put De Jong onto his weaker foot. That should, should not actually be... That just should just be natural, surely. You know, I'm not going to make any subs, uh, because I'm very happy with how the team's going. Now, I understand, you know, that although this may sound very, very strange, uh, I'd still take a draw at this point, even though we are winning, you know. I mean, it, you are, we are going up against City. Um, the reason, by the way, uh, for those who can remember, I doubt too many people remember this, but if we look at the, um, sorry, hang on, oh, okay, um, if, you, if we look at the uh, player stats, where like the top goal scorers and all that, the uh, top top two are Fernando Torres and Carlos Tevez, uh, sorry, no, I think Wayne Rooney's top, but Torres is second, and then Tevez is third. Um, the reason Tevez isn't playing, I believe he's injured, because if he was, he probably would have scored by now. <laughs> no doubt. No one might look. And Micah Richards, I'm sorry, that is just brought, he's just robbed him. Quite literally just robbed him. There. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, well, I'm sorry. You know when I talk about Paul Konchesky? Good God, commentators having an orgasm. Um, you know when I talk about Paul Konchesky? Aye. As I said, it was just pure Robbie. I don't think Wilson helped himself out there with uh, just Adamayo just drifted past them but I think I've been waiting that one for a while. I mean look at that 15 chances. I mean Christ I'm going to have to sweep this defence around a bit because that was utterly dreadful um, from yeah look at Carragher. He's going to have to come off I knew that'd happen. Uh, oh god. Uh, him. Got no central Okay I think we're going to have to. Oh we've got Kyriagos Um that was really atrocious. And that's not going in. That shot didn't go in, don't worry. <laughs> um, they say Carrier's knackered, so I'm going to have to take him off. But Koncheski is getting dropped. Getting dropped for that. I'm sorry. He's not going to be playing a few any more games after this for a while. If he uh, gives away our three points, I'm not going to be particularly happy. But as I say, you know, it's the unbeaten run. That's what counts. I mean, obviously, I know we've lost one already. But uh, Torres is getting booked every game, seemingly. Is it just me? Has Torres been booked like every other game? Or every game? But uh, the clock's running down here. Oh, no, they have a chance. Oh, no. <laughs> Not like this Diego Castro who's signing for that, I assume. Oh, hang on. We have the ball back. And uh, we can only hoof it away straight back to their player. See, this, we're in the last minute. And Castro. <laughs> um... Oh, and Torres has gone. Oh, look at this. Oh, you... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you couldn't have written that. You really couldn't have written this for a for a chance for City. But, I mean, Kalu's done okay, I suppose, on his debut. But uh, I think that's going to be called the game. And Konchesky gets booked. I'm sorry. You, uh... Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, Konchesky, you are a disgrace. Um, very pleased with that, though. Uh, although I am very disappointed at Kinchesky tonight. So once again, it's another 1-1 draw with Manchester City. Pretty much the same. We take the lead. However, we do retain our place at the top like with that point. Um, whether City, uh, whether United sorry, are going to be playing again or they're, whether they're playing again today, I don't know. But um, I'm oh, sorry, they're the results there. Everton beat Newcastle. But say, you know, points at Eastlands is pretty good. Um not the best result no, but it's my, by no means, by absolutely no means least at all, the worst. Um, Man City come close to upset. I wouldn't say an upset as such. Um, I'm just going to say, honestly, I suppose it's an upset in the way that we're on a 22 match on beat run, I guess. 
and the fact that we're first, but you know, uh, what can you do? Kalu's made made his debut. There we go. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Who's who's he manage? Porto. Oh, really? They offer a good amount, so maybe sell them. Uh, yeah, I I can understand this one. I'd usually be all like, what, what, what? You know, but um, sorry, I don't know what the I was. Uh, but to be fair, we did. We made three chances during the whole game. But to be brutally honest, that's what happens when you play City. You know. You're not going to have too many chances, and uh, you know that's, that's just what happens. They've got a very good defence, so can't expect too many chances. Uh, I thought he was, didn't even notice him. <laughs> uh, through, but uh, Kalu, as I said earlier, had a good game as well. So what's this here? Um, I think it's been. A I actually will say that actually I think it'll twist me words again with that but that's what that's what I'm I'm thinking uh, it's a very difficult tie we'll, we'll be drawn once uh, sorry twice with them now I'll have a look at these in more detail after when I switch the uh, capture off but uh, yeah I think we it's it we've had two one one draws so far something's got to give in the FA Cup um, which we'll have a look when that is say a glaring error by Mario's but Mario Balotelli. As you can see, Fernando Torres has the highest rating just inching ahead of Wayne Rooney. So uh, we will have a look at the league to finish off very quickly. And there's a detailed league for you. Tottenham have two games in hand. To be fair, if Tottenham win two games in hand, as you can see, some people are 25. Uh, but if, if you know Tottenham win them two games in hand, they're uh, level on points with United. Well, if Pirates obviously United lose. Uh, but that's not that's not Tottenham could edge themselves right back into that. So let's check the fixtures. Uh, we play Sunderland next at Anfield. So uh, that's the oh that's the game on ESPN <laughs> at uh, half five, and then Aston Villa at the at uh, Villa Park, and then we play Rangers in the Europa League. It's been a while since we played the Europa League. And then we go ah look at that we've got a domestic we've got a domestic cup quadruple there. We've got the um, First knockout round against Rangers, the fifth round FA Cup game against City, the second round, uh, sorry, the first knockout round, second leg, and the League Cup final against Tottenham. And then Wolves, and then Chelsea. <laughs> Again. Well, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, it's a pretty tense game, I'll admit, but that's propelled us back to the, uh, to the league. That's uh, the League Summit, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, join me for the Sunderland game. Uh, I will see you for that. Goodbye.